Hey guys, this is Namita Wade. Welcome to Watch Show. We have with us Mr. Arvind Kacharya, MD of One Two Three Greetings. He's going to be speaking about the IPO that just come up. So to begin with, um, hi. When did you completely, you know, in 1997, way back, One Two Three Greetings started? What was the whole idea behind it? Well, you know, to be honest, it was uh, more by default than by design. I, I never, you know. We never came out with a business plan which said that in 10 years we're going to do this, this, and the other. It's just we we're just working on a, a small group in a project, and one of the designers actually uh, sent me an uh, e-card, and you know she was very proud of her creation, and I sent that to a few friends, who in turn sent it to more friends, and before I knew it, in that Christmas, you know that card had been used about 26,000 times, and it was so exciting to be a part of that that I just kicked up everything else I was doing, and actually got out of it. So th that's the actual way. It actually happened. Uh, so, curiosity, but how does the whole business greeting cards you know, actually function? What's the revenue stream like? Well, we support it by very online advertising. So, the whole model is pe more people that are coming into the system, okay, we show them the ad impressions, and marketeers in turn pay us. So, that's, that's what creates the revenue portion of the business. And what is the scope of growth in this space? Well, you know, the number of users are going up. And every user has a birthday, anniversary, has friends, eventually fall in love. So, you know, we have cards for every single conceivable relationship. So, more the number of users, are, you know, hopefully there are more number of cards that we actually entice people to send. Okay. Some details about the IPO since that is what we are for. I mean, how is this uh, money generated from the IPO going to be used? Well, uh, you know, we, we're looking for inorganic growth now. Uh, we've uh, pride ourselves in being a company which has virtually grown from zero to where we are right now uh, through word of mouth which, which shows that the product is well accepted and, and liked by a user but there's also a lot of people out there that we've never actually been reached out to and uh, either because they've just you know hung on to some other sites or because they, they need a little push to change to our side so we're hoping this uh, we're going to use this money to, to try to attract people who are hither to not been exposed to our side or uh, stuck onto some other side. So the money is to attract new users into the system, which would then take our, our site to the next level. Okay, um, just getting back, you've been a budding entrepreneur probably at the 1997 time. Yeah. What is your advice to people, new existing startups, businesses, to start and then come up to an IPO? Uh, interesting. Uh, you must have an idea that makes money. That's, that's because that's when people support you along the way. I mean, if, if you come up with an idea that is not backed by revenue generation, it, it, it makes your job that much more tougher. But if you have an idea that, you know, kind of, it's very easy for the world to understand how you're going to make money, okay, then people kind of support you much more easily along the way. My last question. Sure. We've seen some online uh, people, you know, like Yatra.com coming into the offline category, you make my trip. Has one to three ever uh, it's, it's a great question. Yeah, a lot of people have uh, done it very successfully. But what we believe as a company, our actual expertise is only online. So unless there's a great economic need to go offline, we have actually no plans to go offline. We do believe that we're very good online, and so long as the opportunity uh, is presents itself, and we feel that that will result in a larger shareholder value, we would continue to pursue those interests as you. Mr. Arvind Kajaria for us. Uh, log on to Watch Show for more interesting videos.